hey guys welcome back to my channel so we have hit the 90 subscribers 10 away from 100 so let's make this possible by new year's that's my goal is to start out with 100 subscribers by new year's that would be amazing and also would probably kick off a giveaway so definitely if you guys are not subscribed and you've liked any of my videos that i made recently or past history then please subscribe and support me in my channel um i thank every each and every one of you guys for being so kind um i've said this for a couple times probably be my last video that i talk about this maybe my next video who knows but i do have an instagram channel and i've been really open and very communicative and very um just active on my instagram channel i mean <laughs> my instagram so you guys should definitely go check that out my instagram is at simply marie dot yt and the yt stands for youtube um but you guys should definitely go give me a follow i think i'm at like 83 follow followers on that one um and then i do have a twitter but i really haven't been active on that until like i grow my my followers area because I don't know i just i post like maybe once a week twice a week on my twitter about like the new builds that i posted but instagram is definitely the way to go so if you guys are interested in any of my future builds or want to be present in like q a's or live streams or just help me on the next build in the future let me know and if any of you guys are youtubers and want to be friends in another base channel area or want me to give you a follow then follow me and uh i don't know message me right now i haven't been really following anyone because i've been really busy with school so like when i get follows i'm just like okay but i have been checking out people's instagrams and been giving them follows lately so anyways behind that point thanks guys for the 90 subscribers but today we are talking about a crazy man's dog house thing so it's called crazy dog man house yeah i think so like it's crazy cat lady but instead it's crazy dog man house and um i think this is such a cool and fun thing to make my mom actually helped me with this idea i really wanted to do a crazy cat lady house kind of but i really didn't want to at the same time because it's kind of cliche a little bit like any of you guys that make them props to you i love i think it's hat seeds um build that's one of the first ones i watched like a couple months ago month or two ago loved that i love the way that she used her cinematics it was amazing of course i didn't make cinematics for this one but i really i've been practicing but i'm not like there yet on cinematics for the youtube area of that but you know the hardest part of this build was that there's not a lot of dog stuff in the sims 4 pets pack there are but there aren't like i found a lot of cat stuff and i was like oh my gosh i could use this for a cat build so if you guys want me to make a cat's crazy cat lady place a little cute cottage or something let me know but if you guys are content with this then give this a video a thumbs up but um so basically my idea was this guy he's alone single he loves his animals especially dogs cats are just really not up his alley so he decided to move into this cute little house and he decided to deck it out with as much dog stuff and make it so dog friendly that like any dog is welcome so i thought that was really a cool storyline um i don't know what his first name is but his last name is spalding and so is all of his pets um if you guys want me to i will post the creative sim for this family um you can see I'll probably post like a picture of their family on my Instagram later when this video goes up later in the week. But um I did film when I was creating this family for this crazy dog man thing because I definitely was planning on doing a cinematic but I haven't so but also I did post this house and this um the family I won't keep calling it family, but like this guy and his dogs, I posted that on my gallery. Um, a lot of you guys have been really active on my gallery. Maybe it's people who have never seen my YouTube channel. But a lot of people have been active on my gallery and have been downloading things. So I want to thank you guys for that. And if you guys are interested in downloading this build. And also, I wanted to, I was going to say that um, even if you don't like the dog aspect of this house, you can always like get it unfurnished or something and refurnish it yourself um you should definitely share it with me if you do but um if you guys are just interested in the shell of the house or just like some parts of the house 
definitely get it and like destroy everything that you don't like so this house is always open for change but i thought the my idea was okay so like at first i was like oh my gosh i really have to make this like a dog house kind of thing but then i was like no like, in this natural world someone would buy a house and they would deck it out for dogs so that's what my thing was that's why it looks kind of normal on the outside there's a whole lot of flowers which i just can't help it i love flowers especially in my builds so i put a lot of flowers and just said that you know some guys do like landscaping okay so not every guy is just a plain slates okay um i think you would call this house a split level home i don't really know i think so because like it's a split area um i do want to talk about a couple features in this house that i loved and tried to incorporate in this build and if you guys like it please let me know i always try to do something different in every build something different that you haven't seen before so for the split level i thought it was really cute i mean the green kitchen and i i just love the kitchen i think that's my favorite part of the house and then up the top then you can see downstairs and i'm actually making it somewhere around here but um it was like i don't know what you call it but like there's a seating area and then across from the way like across the gap is the tv area oh excuse me sorry but um I just wanted to put the TV there because I thought it was a cool place to put it. I didn't know where to put the TV because it was kind of weird and I didn't want to be too close to the couch. But I think that it was a good distance that like it wouldn't be that bad. Of course, if I went to buy a house, I would not get a TV across the way from me. Especially if like the TV breaks. That would be so hard. But in the Sims world, it looks pretty cute. So I kept it there. My mom liked it. I liked it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to stick with that. So that's what I did for the TV area. And then I have like those little wacky tunnel things for dogs, like just wrapped around the couch and everything. It was really hard because the colors, the color scheme of this dog pet stuff isn't really neutral. So it's a really bright, obnoxious color sometimes. So I really had to just work with that. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, and then of course I didn't want to use any custom content. I think I used like one or something because when I went to post on the gallery, it said custom content. But I don't remember what I used to custom content. I didn't think I used any. If I find figure it out, I'll put it in the description box. But for some reason, it's saying I used custom custom content. So okay. Well, um, so that was the kitchen. Um, I wanted to make a big spacious kitchen because like if you're gonna buy a house, it's either gonna have a big spacious kitchen or a small one. Or like some guys like cooking. Some guys like that openness some guys like the luxuries of a nice house so that's what i put i put a little area for laying down with the pets and and then i created a room separate for the pets that also went down to the balcony to the outdoor play area that's gated the gated area for the pets so that was another area that i put in this house was a per personal spot for the dogs to chill out and get away from the owner um and then downstairs i made uh like a place for the owner to have its pri his privacy because like upstairs the animals r run the world downstairs they still do but at least it looks more like calm so like if he's gonna have guests over he could just they could just chill downstairs and they don't even have to go upstairs so um i have this little like i call it my party area it's like a basement but it's like downstairs so it's just like a bar area in a table you play cards or something or chill on there then he's got his bathroom which is really small but one person living it's fine and then he has his bedroom which after i started making the bedroom i kind of got this retro feel of this house and i continued it through the house and everything so that's what i went with with a retro-ish vibes in this house and i just i kind of liked it it i don't know just gave me the right feeling and then I think the only thing that's not a dog in here is the fish tank that I input in there. But there's just like an acre space between the wall and the stair railing. And I, it was kind of wasted space. So I put a fish tank there. So basically that's really all the aspects of the house. It's a pretty small house. Pretty sure it comes up to like 66,000 simoleons. So it's pretty pricey. But mother load, okay? You can use mother load. Or you can actually go for the real deal and like actually make money so anyways i hope you guys like this build if you guys like my creative my creative eye and everything please let me know i've been trying to get more creative in my sims build instead of just making natural builds so um that's where i got my idea of a crazy dog man's house so if you guys think that this is a pretty crazy house or a pretty perfect house for a crazy dog man like this video and subscribe 
and also go check out my my instagram for more screenshots that's where i post most of my screenshots now but um there's always going to be screenshots at the end of my videos thank you guys so much for your support and your subscriptions and all your nice kind words i hope you have a wonderful day have a happy tuesday and i'll see you on my next build on thursday i'm just gonna give you a sneak peek i'm pretty sure my next build is going to be like a room build that's as much as i can tell you but i'm pretty sure it's going to be room build because those are pretty easy to film and it's finals week so i don't have time to record a lot but who knows thank you guys have a great day